Well, the moral of this story is, uh, if you've got a Freedom Pass, just come out and use it. Um, it's amazing how much ground you can cover, and at the end of the day, just remember, you've worked all your life for it, so it's not free, really, but it's costing you nothing now when uh, you've got to count most, most every penny, I suppose, once you retire. Um, but it certainly sort of uh, gives us a new little uh, spring our step and gets us out uh, to do things. Uh, plus it opens up other avenues of, of interest. So we've made our way down to um, London Bridge Station, uh, which is just a, a short ride from the train from our local station, then the uh, a bus ride from uh, Liverpool Street down to London Bridge. Now we've got the train, we're waiting for the train uh, to take us down to East Croydon. We'll jump off and then have a look at the tram network. Not into trams or anything like that. It's just somewhere, purely somewhere to go. Bills in the day, hopefully, keep you fit, healthy, uh, good company, and be a. Can't get much better than that, can it, at the end of the day? Right, so just wait for the train another 15 minutes before it goes, and then we'll see how the train comes. Crystal Palace, Berkeley, and Beckham Junction. This train is if you see something that doesn't look right, report it to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. See it, say it, sort it. What, three o'clock, you say? Yeah, yeah, I got up at three o'clock. What, up? To stay up? Yeah. I'm sure my blood sugar what I checked. That was at three, three fifteen, mate, or something. Benky. What, you just can't sleep or you're an early bird? Once I wake up, I'm awake. Oh, you've got to get up. Sometimes it's early, sometimes it's, what? It's erratic. Yeah. I'm an erratic sleeper. Erratic. <laughs> well, I was just going to make our way towards the river in there and just capture a few of the sights along the way. Um, a bit different to Enfield, but that's what makes life all interesting. Um, right, we've just got a bit of a hold up here. The boss has stopped. Um, probably because it can be uh, the bus or train coming.
one. They're trying, they're trying. <laughs> so I'm just looking at King's. He's like a banana, he's bent over backwards, he's looking at his drone up there. Um, I don't know, he don't get back though, because it happens. Anyway, we're now coming to uh, Wandle Park. So we've seen the trams, a little bit of Croydon, there's a lot more to, to see what we, what we, we are, we're at. Um, but now we're in the park where Ken, sorry, he, he, he wants to do a few aerial shots of the trams and you couldn't get a better location as it happens. Um, right, I don't think there's an awful lot over here, but in all fairness, I haven't walked around, I'm getting a bit bloody knackered to tell you the honest truth. Um, but the one thing that does strike you is um, autumn setting in. You can see the uh, leaves on the tree, trees browning up now. There's um, conkers, conkers on the branches ready to fall. Uh, the needles on the, on, on the uh, conifers are on the ground. No, it's really sort of, we're just um, one step away now from uh, when the season's going to change, which is quite nice actually. Um, and after the hot spell we've just had, I've got to be honest, um, it's a little uh, breath of fresh air. It's quite nice actually. Right, so I'm going to sit and get a second wind uh, and just wait for Kent to finish. And then we will probably, I don't know what his plans are, um, but probably make our way back um, for another pier somewhere. Oh, nice done. Check. Let me just check my steps. Oh, only 5,000, two, two and a quarter miles, um, but obviously we've got the journey back yet, so that'll, um, that'll increase at the end of the day. Right, that's it then, whoop, I've got a visitor. Right, hold, hold the pose. <laughs> 